After nine years of construction, the Lijiang Shangri-La Railway begins operation today, connecting scenic spots in southern China's Yunnan province. The railway, which starts from Lijiang and ends in Shangri-La, is a part of the impressive Yunnan Shizang Railway network. It passes a series of scenic spots and stops in 13 cities in southwest China's Yunnan province, connecting Lijiang Ancient City, Jade Dragon Snow Mountain, Tiger Leaping Gorge, Haba Snow Mountain, and many other famous travel destinations. Now the line stretches 139 kilometers, and the construction team had to conquer all kinds of geographical challenges and technical problems. Locals in less developed areas of Yunnan say they expect to reap rewards. Our Yang Jinha reports. It's a historic moment. Diqing, a Tibetan autonomous prefecture in China's southwestern Yunnan province, is finally incorporated into China's extensive rail network following nine years of construction. The nearly 140-kilometer line connects the city of Lijiang with Shangri-La, the capital of Diqing Prefecture. It's an important section of the planned railway linking Yunnan, the Shizang Autonomous Region. This mega-project is in a region with complicated terrain, posing considerable challenges during the building process. We encountered large deformation of soft rocks caused by high ground stress during the construction of tunnels. The highest ground stress in the last 600 meters of the Haba Snow Mountain Tunnel reached 29.4 megapascals. Many experts said this is rarely seen, even across the world. The building of the Yulong Snow Mountain Tunnel witnessed over 200 emergencies, including bursts of mud, surging water, and even collapse. As the railway passes through scenic spots and vital water sources, comprehensive measures have been taken to safeguard the surrounding environment. We built many sewage purification facilities, ensuring treated sewage meets relevant standards before discharge. To address vegetation impact, we collaborated with botany research institutes, resulting in the successful restoration of vegetation along the rail line. Diqing Prefecture, once among the most underprivileged regions, only escaped extreme poverty in 2019. Local residents say they expect increased opportunities because of the new transportation, considering the region's abundant tourism resources. My campsite is only about two kilometers from the nearby station. As the railway goes into service, I believe we will see more and more visitors. I plan to buy a car to pick up the guests from the railway station. Locals say they hope their high-quality agricultural products will also be transported to different parts of the country by the train. Yang Jinghao, CGTN, Yunnan Province.